Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give a fuck to It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here on your Monday night. Ready to... Uh, play a game of two truths and a lie we're live from the sanctum sorgatorium sorgatron media studios here in the beachview neighborhood of pittsburgh pa and we have of course on the line with us from Pooh kipsy new york he's toy Slo- toy slinger extraordinaire he is mad mike Sorg, I-, I told you this before i've worked over 70 hours in eight days 70 hours of toy slanging yeah, a lot, lots of fingerlings, lots of LOL, of, of, of LOL dolls, lots of Nintendo Switches, and lots of people I really, really want to tell them to fuck off. Most of that is not English to me. That's fine. That's great. That that means you're living a full life, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have two truths and a lie. Um, and I think I'm actually going <laughs> to... Oh, I don't. I don't know about that second truth. I don't. I didn't see that one myself. So, but I think I know. I think I know what that is. So, um, I, I'm going to go with Alex's two truths and a lie here. Okay, I'm going to mix right, it up it. here. Bring it on, cars. So, uh, did you? Or, th- no, no. This is wait, Alex. Is, is Alex, Alex Miller. Alex well, Miller. Bring it on, Miller. All it's right. Miller time. So here's your two truths and a lie, and this is what we yeah. do because Mike, you know, of course, is busy during Raw, and this is a more interesting way to kind of cover what happened on Raw. It feels a lot of the times. It, it also helps me to not be as negative. Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. We don't get the post-humus expectation rant from Mike. So here we go. Mike, are yeah. you ready? Born ready. Truth one from Alex: They gave Paige's group a name. Okay, okay, okay. Truth number two. In the Good Brothers segment, there was a bulletproof jacket. (laughs) Okay. Truth truth number three. Enzo is facing Rich Swan for the cruiserweight title. Ooh. Wait, on Raw or just in general? I'm just leaving that as it is. Okay, um... Oh, man. All right. I believe the Good Brothers thing because I know Finn's jacket says bulletproof on it. So I'm sure there was some sort of reference, brother, brother. Um, no, no I'm, I'm, t- I'm talking these out, Sorg. I'm talking okay, these okay, out. okay. Talking these out. Um, huh. But let's see. Enzo facing Rich One just makes sense, I guess. So I think I'll believe that. Okay. But they, uh, of course they gave Paige's group a name. They would have had to at this point. I just hope it's not PMS. Because, you know, Paige, Mandy, and Sonya. Um, all right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recant. I'm going to say the Good Brothers thing is bullshit. The Good Brothers thing is bullshit? Yes. The lie would be truth number three. Enzo is not going to face Rich Swan, although they yeah. are having a series of... Uh, Fatal four-way matches this week and next week on Raw with the winners of those two facing each other to become the number one contender. And I believe Rich Swan won tonight's match. What? What? Because Kurt Angle is finally paying attention to the cruiserweight division. But. but, (sighs) This is just things that happened. This is just things that happened. What? Why aren't we doing that on, I don't know, the show for the cruiserweights? What? There, there's a whole show where we could do this. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, all right. All right. I, I want to throw mine in here. And did, I, I, did the fail four-way last longer than five minutes? Uh, Yeah, I think it was a good long, length, if I recall. Okay. Was, was it a commercial break? Uh, I don't know if it got a f- commercial break. That's a no. I can't okay. remember. I can't remember if it did. All right, all right. Tonight, truth number one, mm. Matt Hardy is breaking. Oh, this fucking shit again. True okay. truth number two. Yep. Bray Wyatt is mad about Thanksgiving. Okay. 
Truth number three. Truth number three. Cesaro has adopted the Miztourage. Like, legally? <laughs> Take it for what it is. Oh, Matt Hardy is... Well, that Matt Hardy is breaking is such a general, a vague statement. Uh, I mean, Bray Wyatt is, is a rather Zoftic fellow, so I don't know why he'd hate Thanksgiving. Wait, Zoftic? Yeah. He's a big guy. Oh, okay, okay. He's a big guy. Uh, trust me, when, when, I was, when I was a fat kid growing up, Sorg, I, I had to learn a lot of different ways to say I was fat. Huh. Husky, Zoftic, hmm. um, properly proportioned. You know, there's, there's a lot of different ones. Um, so I can't imagine he'd hate Thanksgiving. This is my fault. I, 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 I came, became a fat kid later in life. Yeah, I, I was born that way. Uh, and what, what was the third one? The, the Cesaro adopted the Miztourage? Yes. I really... Mm. Wow, I'm gonna say that one's bullshit. You you think that one's bullshit? Yeah, that is true, or that is. Yes. I mean, you are correct. Yes, Matt Wait, Hardy. No. Matt Hardy, after being by Bray, being beat by Bray Wyatt, sat in the corner, made a face, started making delete, and there are many comments about him breaking. Okay, so nothing has actually happened yet, and no. that was just a big no. bullshit. Well, no, but still, like it's it's kind of moving. Uh, Bray Wyatt, yes, he's mad about Thanksgiving. Of course he is, because yeah. no one gave gave thanks to Bray. No, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think he kind of summarized his promo. Uh, <laughs> and hey, I should write for a WWE. <laughs> but the Miz, the Miz, they did show that the Miz went through a table after the air, after they went off air by the uh, by the Shield. He is off TV, and the Miz. Oh yeah, well, he's he's filming a movie. Yes, and the Miz Tross has been adopted. You, I will bonus round. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who has adopted the Miztourage? I don't know if this is ongoing, but it's at least for the evening. I And God, I hope it's ongoing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hold on. I, I, I have one question. Face or heel? What do you think? I am think I assume heel, but... Yeah, that's a safe... Okay. Yeah. Uh, just, you never know. You never know. They could have turned him. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, God. There's so many people who I want it to be. Throw some out I'm, there. Throw some out there. No, no. I'm, I'm only going to give myself one guess on this. Okay. One guess. One guess. Let's see. I'm, I'm running through the heels on Raw in my head. Uh, there are not many. Because <laughs> I damn sure know it's not Bray Wyatt. There's no fucking way they're doing that. Nope. That'd be the um, one. This one's better. Braun is not a is not a heel anymore, so it won't be him. Mm -hmm. Kane would be interesting, especially if they call, if, especially if he called them his deputy mayors. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get you before you drank. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that it's Elias. Holy shit! Did I get it? You got it. Yes! They are now yes! walking with Elias, sir. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. I, I'm on board. <clears throat> so, I'm on board. That sounds great. All right. Your next batch. Your next batch. Well, no, it's going to suck having this next month or so of Raw being Mizless. Yeah. It's but, really going to suck. Man, if this becomes a thing, it might be okay. Um... Elias's performance made the crowd chant, we want Roman. Ooh. It's fact one. Ooh. Okay. Elias was accompanied by a harmonica duo of Axel and Bo. <laughs> and they were interrupted by the reunited 3MB. Wait, what? Those are my three facts. All right, the 3MB thing. Oof. I want that to be true so badly. I 
I know it's not. That's bullshit. That has to be bullshit. That is bullshit, but it seems like the next logical step. Because God, the other things I, definitely happened. Sorg, don't tease of my emotions like that. Now, I will say that the We Want Roman chants were accompanied by No, We Don't. But the We Want mm -hmm. Roman chants were more prominent. Mm, I, I still don't know if I buy that. Uh, you'll see. You'll see when you get Are there. Are you sure they weren't saying We Want Strowman? Mm, nope, that's not it. Because they were actually... Well, let's hold on a second. Let's hold on okay, a second. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, Sorg. I have a one truth and a lie for you. Okay, let's do this. All right. I didn't watch Raw. No. I did not keep up on Twitter. However, one tweet I happened to glance at while I was at work was from The Riz, our good buddy The Riz. And uh, Sorg, based on this tweet, um, there was a Harry Potter fan in the front row of Raw. Oh, true geez. or false? Uh, I don't know. True or false? I, uh, true? I'm going to say it's true because Riz said that the person with the SPEW shirt needs to sit down. And SPEW, as every Harry Potter fan knows, is the Society of Protection of Elvis Welfare. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know. That was the only thing I saw from Riz. I'm like, uh, okay, I, that just sounds like a Harry Potter thing to me, so I'll make it fun. All right, continue. <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Did I just break you like Matt Hardy? No, no. I just generally have a cough, and I was trying to interpret uh, these these two truths and a lie. The problem is, okay. like, when people submit two truths and a lie, sometimes I don't remember a thing happening from watching Raw, so ah. I need to verify, um, or I just go with it. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to give you two lies and a truth. Oh, shit. Okay. Paige's faction of mm. uh, uh, DeVille and uh, uh, Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose, yeah. No reference, by the way, to SmackDown's attackers. Weird. Okay. Yeah. So that was interesting. Um, they revealed their name tonight. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Is it <laughs> okay? Revolution. Okay. Absolution. Uh huh. Or horsewomen. <sighs> well, there's only three of them, so I don't think it's horsewomen. But you said it's two lies and a truth. So it's either Revolution or Absolution, both of which I'm pretty sure are finishers that I had as an EFED character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good, good comeback. <laughs> ah. um, all right, hold on, hold on. What are you Let's doing? See. What are you doing? What no, are you reaching no, I'm, for? I am flipping a coin. He's flipping both of those a coin. Are e He's flipping both of those a coin. Are e both of those are equally horrible. Okay. So head, heads, it's revolution. Tails, it's absolution. Tails, absolution. You are correct. Yes! Also... <laughs> the coin does not lie, Sorg! Also, uh, um, uh, warranting a tweet from a uh, promoter of AIW in front of the show, John Thorne, <laughs> about how the w SmackDown women's group is going to be Queen of Trios. Because <laughs> absolution is the big show of the year for AIW. <laughs> of course, of course it is. So there you go. Uh, you know yeah. they should they should just take TNA pay per view names. <laughs> well, apparently, honestly, they're, apparently they're not, they're taking they're indie pay, indie big show names. So you know they're not using them at this point. No, like no. like the the trio uh, Ruby Riot trio is going to be Final Resolution. <laughs> sure, sure or Genesis. Ah yes, but Genesis like with a Y, but not where you'd think it would be. <laughs> J G Y N. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, oh, because they're women. G Y N, like gynecologists. Oh, oh that's Vince's geez. wet dream. That's Vince's wet dream right there. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> Damn it. You're killing me, killing me Smalls. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let me see how I'm going to piece this next piece together. Uh, so they're really. 
What? What's that? Really, you really called absolution? Can, you know, can I? And and and, and this is okay. And and apparently the idea is they are teaming up with Paige because Paige was the dawn of the Divas Revolution, and none of the good wrestling girls would be there if it wasn't for Paige. So basically, the group is Paige's fan club. So wait, so wait, they're they're wait. beating everybody up. Why did we fire Emma? <laughs> so she can take on friend of the show Britt Baker at Remix Pro. Also, also, so AIW can have her on the show and call it "We've Got a Dilemma." <laughs> AIW, I love you. <laughs> uh, I think we might have frozen Mike here for a moment. Let's see if he comes back. Mike, are you, that that broke him and the internet apparently. I don't, or is my computer? We'll see. Oh, this seems relatively frozen. Are you back? Yes, I'm okay, back. Okay, all right, all right. We glitched. There's a glitch in the system. All right. You I, know what it was, Sorg? It was a dilemma. I, 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 I don't know how to really two truths and lie this. So just the what the fuck that happened tonight. Um, okay. Well, okay. No, 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 no. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Facts. Okay. There were let's go mayor chants during uh, uh, Kane's match. Fact Ooh. number one. Ooh. Okay. Fact number two. Kane beat not one, but two people tonight. Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. Fact number three. Kane was in the main event tonight. Oh, God. None of this sounds good. Well. None of this sounds good. I, well, Mike, can, I got good news for you then. Because all three. Are they three, all lies? They are all truths. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Oh, God. Who did he beat? I want to say. Like, what, what, was it the Good Brothers? All right. Here's two truths and, and a lie. Uh, he beat Jason Jordan, he beat Braun Strowman, and he beat uh, Finn Balor. I almost said his other name. Oh, my God. He beat two of those guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the fuck are you doing, Raw? In the main event. There's no way he beat Braun Strowman. No. He beat the other okay. two guys, and then Braun came back and crushed his neck and he 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 went out through the crowd but there was a let's go mayor chance because they were in knoxville tennessee tonight god. <laughs> god damn it like so so hold on hold on hold on hold on let's 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 break this down politically sorg hashtag pms political mayhem show your you want your mayoral candidate to show up and attack not only oh and he's frozen again i don't know what's happening with this i, I'm, I bet i'm downloading a windows update is what's going on uh yeah, alex has a question of what nxt superstar do we uh hope to see in the rumble yeah alistair black i would definitely uh, have on that and john yes botchamania on mayhem show <laughs> kind of is to a point hey. isn't it all right mike's back again sorry about oh, that yes uh did, did you get any of what I said? No, no, no. It looked like you were about oh, to say something okay. profound. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, so they're in they're in the city where Kane is running for mayor, right? Mm-hmm. I'll I'll wait till you finish because you're gonna spit yeah, up. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, yeah. no, I'm gonna keep drinking. It's all fine. It's fine. So, so you wanted to show Kane beating up a young African American man of a mixed race family and a promising young immigrant from the country of Ireland. What the f fuck is wrong with knoxville <laughs> yes but he got picked up by the guy with the uh doesn't doesn't he have a gun show country on strong. youtube country, country strong, strong uh braun Strowman. <laughs> oh my god what are we even doing i can't wait to see the campaign commercial that goes along uh, with that what what sword what is this christmas raw gonna be <laughs> what the fuck is this christmas raw gonna be the chris oh jeez I, yeah, it makes me want to want to see this uh, uh, Christmas. I, I, there's a live show like two days after Christmas here in Pittsburgh. I think I'm going to it just for the hell well, of there, it. 
There's a live Raw on Christmas. Yeah, oh, geez. Oh, There's a geez. live Raw on Christmas. Unfortunately, they have to work. So, um, three, uh, two people were were very. No, I already kind of said that. Uh, no, no, we were talking about this before you were on. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay. Uh, uh, two people were told we were very adamantly told why they weren't on Raw this week. Okay. So okay. two truths and a lie. Oh God, who wasn't on Raw this week? Seamus is okay. in Ireland on his yearly visit home to his homeland. Okay. Dean Ambrose is on a honeymoon. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming with Renee. If I would hope so, <laughs> if that's you never know. the he, thing. He he could it could be a honeymoon with Rollins. Yeah. Yes. And and or Rollins is is on a uh, CrossFit vacation back home in Idaho. All right, well, I'm going to assume that Rollins is not on a CrossFit vacation. <laughs> I was not good about my my my, my yeah, no, no. but the others you guy you guy gave that one away. But it really kind of fit in with the other two, didn't it? So let me guess. Um, we had Cesaro versus Seth Rollins tonight. Mm-hmm. God. Why are we watching repeats? <laughs> it was. Why are we watching repeats? Oh, they're in Chicago. I miss. I miss the revival, Sorg. When, when the fuck are the revival coming? Back? We miss you, revival. We miss you every day. Uh, oh, all right. Like, let's just have Scott Dawson wrestle. Mm-hmm. Or Dash, whichever one isn't injured, just just wrestle. Jason Jordan still wrestles, and he's not with his other half. I mean, Matt Hardy still wrestles. He's not with his don't other you, half. You do feel like for three hours, we could be seeing a lot more wrestlers, right? How about how about this? Sorg, how about this? Sorg, WWE is into these three-man groups these days, right? How about this? We put Jason Jordan, Matt Hardy, and Dash Wild together. We call them three halves make a whole. I love that. Thank I you. love that. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't you want to see that team go against the Shield? I know I fucking would. Mad Mike. Three tag team specialists. Mad Mike. Matt Hardy, Jason Jordan, and Dash? Come on. How excited are you to go watch Raw and live tweet here as soon as we're done? Way less excited now that I know that's not happening. (laughs) I may just skip the main event. Good news. Good news from Tina. Okay. Dash wrestled the past weekend at Starcade. Yeah, but Dash wasn't the one that was injured. No, no, but I mean, but they're, he's doing something. Yeah. Yeah, on something that we'll never see. <laughs> something that was on the wrong brand. Uh, well, let me know your thoughts of the Bray and Matt stuff. I, mm-hmm. I'm i curious if, if any of it kind of gets you like... Until ah. he says the word broken into a microphone, I do not give a fuck. He's basically done everything but. Because they're not going to do it. Mm-hmm. They're still not going to do it because otherwise we shall see. Done we, shall we shall see, brother if Mad he Mike. On Christmas, and we get like broken Matt Hardy singing, uh, like doing the night before Christmas to King Maxwell and Rebby. Okay, fine. Like I want a very hearty Christmas. That's what I want. Can we just like can WWE hire back Dave Lagana? Just to hang out with the Hardys and do stuff at their compound for WWE. Fuck, send me there. <laughs> I'll just do it. Yeah, yeah, we we could we could make this happen. WWE. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've worked with the Hardys. Just saying. I've worked with WWE. It's a match made in heaven. He has uh, Matt has changed his Twitter to Woken Matt says Dave in the chat. So in other words, he is not broken he is woken yes no his no he's he's had that to woken for months oh okay yeah he's had that set to woken for months i'm gonna go with about two hours watchable of raw tonight i think the uh i think you're gonna enjoy the roman alliance thing pay attention to that match it was a lot of fun (sighs) you're asking me to pay attention during a roman reigns match but it's a friend of the show elias chant uh uh, the uh Uh, part the musical performance at the beginning will make it worth it. I will probably just watch that, and I will probably breeze through the match. Also, randomly, uh, Curtis and Bo are taller than Elias. 
Did not see that as a thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, that that's good for them. Also great where the tweets were um, uh, 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 that, that Roman was facing a Roman lookalike in Elias. Oh, no, that's no, no. <laughs> Just because they have long stringy hair doesn't mean they look alike. It's enough for Twitter. I, I think I think if we're going to compare Elias to anyone on the Shield, it's Seth Rollins. No, he, no. put those two side by side. No. Put those two side by side. Put and make Seth Rollins' hair all scraggly. Matt, Mike, where can people find you? Ah, uh, you can find me at a toy store. <laughs> Nearest you. Yeah, well, you can no, also well, find me at. You can also find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. I have changed my name to Hans. I'm your White Knight because I'm festive and Die Hard is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. I started watching uh, while I was building the tree tonight. I, I put That's Die exactly Hard on. right, Sorg. Yeah, Sorg. You know what you should do? You should put a teeny tiny little Hans Gruber at the top of your tree, and on Christmas Eve, you just have it fall. My tree is just naked now because I forgot to bring the lights, so I didn't want to put the decorations on. So there's just a naked tree in my in my studio now. So. Oh my God, Sorg! I want to do a Die Hard Christmas tree with broken ornaments at the bottom. Oh yes. You know why? You shoot the glass. Somebody tried correcting me on Facebook that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, and it says no. But when I watch Die Hard, I start to get into the Christmas spirit. Um, Therefore, it counts. Sork, whoever whoever said that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, you need to unfriend them. Bobby Cherry, you're going down. Bobby, Bob. Oh, I'm fr- I'm unfriending Bobby Cherry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to run his wall. I'm unfriending you because you do not believe Die Hard is a Christmas movie. This is entirely personal. Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas movie or Halloween movie? Yes. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Mad Mike four eight eight three. Let them know your thoughts on Die Hard and, and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything going on at SorgatronMedia.com and WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time and keep it.